Hey, welcome to The Daily Shade. I'm Bo, and today we're going to be talking about Gentleman's Nod. The specific scent that I'm going to be using today is called Ernest, and I'll get to that in just a second. But I wanted to give y'all a view of Gentleman's Nod because they're a new artisan that I think a lot of people haven't met yet, and I want to talk about their labels just a little bit. Um, as you can see, the scent isn't actually named on the top label. It has the number of the scent, which is 85. But you see the Gentleman's Nod logo, Shade Soap. And they have a great side label that has Gentleman's Nod, Ernest, which is the name of the scent, and over here I think it says the number, and some other information about it. But when you stack your soaps up like I do, you can stack it so that you can see the artisan and then the scent, which is great. The tub itself, standard Parkway tub. Um, a lot of artisans are using these. A lot of guys really like them. Um, probably familiar with it. But you can see the soap uh, looks pretty smooth. I got, a, I got an air bubble in this one, which I think is kind of funny. But, um, it's it's nice, it's it's relatively firm. Um, it's definitely not what I would call a soft soap. Um, it's good stuff. I've already wet my face, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started loading my brush while I tell you a little bit more about Gentleman's Knot. I'm gonna use my, that darn Rob Fancherian today. It's a generation one Fancherian. Um, Gentleman's Knot is based in Omaha, Nebraska. I first heard about them because they made an appearance at the Big Shade Southwest, where a bunch of my friends went I wasn't able to go. And a lot of them came out talking about Gentleman's Knot because it was kind of the new guy on the scene and, and apparently the, the guys making the products were, were a hit. Um, they, the, the base of the soap is, is I always kind of hesitate to say this, but it's, it's mostly a vegan base that they've added uh, goat's milk to, um, to try and improve the, the post-shave feel. And they really wanted the post-shave feel to be the star of the performance for their soap. Okay, I think we got to get loaded there. Whoop. Soap's looking to the sink. <laughs> Did the brush in a little bit of water, and we'll get started lathering. So you'll get to watch me build my lather on my face, so you'll kind of see how this soap lathers up. Fairly low structure. Um, I would say moderate density. It's not super dense, but it's not foamy or airy at all. One of the other ingredients they've included in their base is bentonite clay, which is kind of one of my favorite ingredients. Um, I find it does, most artisans use it to, to benefit the slickness of the soap, which it does. But I find the soaps that have it yield a little bit different lather. It's a little bit, I don't know, almost creamier lather that I really enjoy. And I find, I think it has a good benefit to the post shave feel as well, but I could be wrong on that. I do not consider this to be a thirsty soap. I think it, it's pretty easy to find how much water it wants. Um, you, you, you can keep adding water if you want to, but I, I think it's a pretty wide sweet spot. You don't have to, you don't have to drown it. All right, that looks pretty good. As you can see, very quick, very quick to lather. I'm gonna use my, my general aluminum uh, Artist Club single edge razor today. Okay, so that's about the artisan and about their base. Performance, I would say it's good. Good to very good. Plenty of slickness. I like the lather it yields. As I said, I kind of there's some specific quality to a bentonite clay lather that I just really, really enjoy. The scents are named after sort of men of history, I would say. Larger than life figures. George Washington, and in this case, Ernest Hemingway. And if you don't know much about Ernest Hemingway, 
Most people know him because they were forced to read one of his books, like The Old Man in the Sea in my case, when they were in high school. But he had a really interesting life. He was a newspaper writer, he was a war correspondent, he um, survived some really intense hurricane, at least one really intense hurricane down in South Florida. He lived in Key West for many years. And that is where this scent draws its name from. Not its name, it's scent from. It is, it, the, the notes are listed as uh, green mango, citrus, and tobacco. I think the green mango is the star of the scent. I definitely get, the citrus is there, but I get more of a tart, fruity, tropical vibe from it. It says tobacco on the label, but there are kind of two different tobaccos. <laughs> Right? There's the cured leaf tobacco that we associate with like cigar shops and that kind of thing. And then there's tobacco flour, which is also used in a lot of shaving scents. In this case, it's tobacco flour. So if you're looking for that spicy, earthy scent of cured tobacco, you will not find it here. Um, this is much a much brighter scent. Um, the citrus is definitely there kind of brightens it up but it's not it's not a sweet citrus it's not a sweet mango this is this is a much tartar scent than that and I enjoy that I don't the sweet fruity scents don't do it for me this being a little bit tartar a little bit more interesting to me works really well second pass we can go across the green and here on the jawline I tend to go this way on my second pass. It's always a little different shading with like an artist club razor because the blade is much wider than a, a, a DE or gym razor. It's like shaving with a squeegee. struggles I've had with this scent is trying to find something in my den to pair it with. <laughs> Gentleman's Nod makes a matching aftershave balm I don't have. So I'm having to try different things in my den to find out if there's a particular pairing that I like with it. And I don't know that I have another tart fruit scent in my den. So today I'm going to use Captain's Choice Lime because I think that's probably the best match I have in my den. I tried it once before and I really liked it, so it works for me. All right, second pass in the books. Um, their other soaps that they have available right now are George Washington, George, and Jackie. I haven't had the privilege of trying either of those, so I can't, uh, I can't speak to them. But if you're curious about Gentleman's Nod and Ernest, doesn't sound like it's right for you, you can definitely check out those other scents and see if one fits the bill for you. Third pass. Wait, well, man, I got a little lather on it. Okay. This one is against the grain. Uh, I'm using a feather professional blade in the general today. I which is by far my go-to artist club blade. But one of the features of artist club blades that I think is really interesting is that if you find a razor is a little too mild for you with a Feather Professional, you can try a Feather Super Pro, which is a little bit wider, and therefore the razor will have a little bit more blade exposure and give you a more aggressive shave.
that ability to change your blade to change the, I mean, it literally changes the aggression of the razor. It's not just more aggressive feeling or it's a sharper blade. It's actually sticking the blade further out from the razor, creating a more aggressive razor. And I think the ability to do that is one of the coolest parts of Artist Club. Razor blades. I had a little weeper yesterday that I seem to have reopened. Final fast on my neck I do from my ear toward my throat. That gives me the best results and it doesn't cause irritation. And it took me a little while to figure that out, but it is the ticket for me. Let me rinse my face off and we'll finish up with the post shave. I always use warm water for my shave and cool water, as cool as it gets down here in South Louisiana, for my final rinse. Now yesterday I used this soap and I didn't use any post-shave product for several hours afterwards to see just how good the post-shave feel is because Gentleman's Nod says that's what their focus was on. So I can report back that if you were the sort of guy who does not like to use a post-shave product, I think you will be happy with Gentleman's Nod. My skin felt soft, it did not get um, tight, and it did not get dry. Um, I really enjoyed it. I eventually put on a little Shea Splash, and it, it worked beautifully. So I think it works well with a post-shave product, whether that's a balm or a splash. But if you want to go without, I think you can. But I can tell you my face really, it really felt great yesterday. So for today's finish, we're going to use Captain's Choice Lime. Once again, definitely a citrus and bay scent. Um, not as tart as the soap, but not sweet either. And that's why I think it works well together. All right, guys. That'll do it for today. Thank you for joining me. Check out Gentleman's Nod. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have a great one.